Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and this is Holy City Mystic. Thank you guys so much for being here. So today this is a video that I've wanted to do for some time. Um, it is about journaling according to your Mercury sign. Actually, Mercury element. I'm going to talk about four. So earth, air, fire, water. The reason why this is so important for me is because journaling has changed so much of my life. And it's something that, you know, psychologists will recommend, doctors will recommend sometimes. Like journaling is such a great way to record what's going on for you, to process what's going on for you through writing. However, depending on where your mercury sign is, which is how you think about things, how you communicate, it's the filter in which you bring in information. Depending on what element that's in, you are going to have a different assumption when it comes to journaling, and it might be really hard for you. And so my goal with this video is just to lay out for you guys things that might help, tools that might help, and different journaling styles that might help you get into it through your own personal lens and not through, you know, anybody else's template. I also was going to break this up into four individual videos. If you guys have hung out on my channel before, you guys know that most of my videos are under 10 minutes. Most, I would say probably half or more are under five minutes. I don't like wasting people's time. I like very specific small information. However, I would have to do the introduction four times and that's just not going to work for me because I always say things a little bit differently every time because I script in bullet points. Like I, I don't. I don't write out scripts. So I'm gonna put timestamps, don't you guys worry, to where you can jump to yours, then you can go back and watch all of them if you want. So the first one I wanna talk about are Earth Mercuries. Now, people with Mercury in Earth signs are going to be the Taurus Mercuries, the Capricorn, and the Virgo. Now, people with Mercury in Earth signs have a superpower of detail, of being very critical about something very, this is what it should be, in what ways does it match? So when it comes to journaling, a common anxiety might be, it has to be accurate. It has to be accurate, I can't make it accurate, I can't talk about absolutely everything. So it just kind of gets overwhelming and people with an earth mercury kind of shy away from it because they're like, if I can't commit, if I can't see it to the end, if I can't do it correctly, then I don't want to do it at all. Also, they're very down to earth, like, literally earth. They like concrete things, you know, so journaling about their feelings, like that might not be something that is super comfortable for them, even though their therapist is telling them to do it. So one thing that you might be able to do to kind of change your perspective on this is write reviews. Write a critical review about your day, about a meeting that you had, about a meal that you ate. Hey. If you know the video. Oh, you know it. <laughs> No, it's okay. I'll come back to it. It's like a longer one. So in addition to writing reviews for things, you can also write things in a how-to style. Um, this can even be fun as almost a creative writing experience where it's like, how to have the worst meeting possible at work. Step one, you know, things like that. Um, how to have an amazing relationship. And then you just start talking about a conversation that you may have had with your partner or a family member. Also lists are really great. Earth signs definitely can benefit from bullet journaling. If you wanna know more about this, just Google it. I mean, there's like a million things. Fun fact, um, bullet journaling was actually one of the first YouTube videos I ever did. It was on my other channel. It's totally embarrassing. It's like from 2019. But anyway, looking up bullet journaling and how to do that, it involves a lot of lists, a lot of schedules, a lot of very concrete things that can really help an earth sign get going when it comes to journaling. Also, explaining things can be really helpful. Explaining how something works, explaining why this thing happened the way that it did, stuff like that. It can really help someone with an earth sign mercury really get flowing with their journaling. Next are the fire sign Mercuries. Now the fire signs are Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. These people, they're usually very outspoken. If you have a fire sign Mercury, they tend to be louder. They tend to come off a lot harsher than they mean to. Um, 
things are just very factual, very just out there. They can often say things that they don't necessarily mean. It's just how they felt for a split second and it's out of their mouth before they even realize it. So one of the hangups with fire sign Mercury's is they kind of have the phrase, it's not that deep. You know, fire signs, they're, they're very quick, they're very action-oriented, and so really sinking into your feelings and talking about your feelings, they're like, mm, it's not that deep. So one thing that might help is a speech to text where they're just like, okay, this thing happened, you know, that this happened and now this has to happen or something like that. Just something where it's quick, it's on the go, it's something that they don't really have to like feel bogged down by. Bullet points are really great as well because they can just talk about like this happened and this happened and this happened and they're still processing it even though they're processing it through a fire filter. Also, fire signs, they're really big on outcome. Like they want to know what what resolved, what ended. So talking about the resolution of an issue might be a really good thing. And even if you're in the middle of something, talking about all the ways that it might resolve or the ways that you want it to resolve or something like that, that might also be helpful. Next are air sign Mercury's. Now, something to know about air signs is they always have to do with other people. So Gemini, which is the first air sign, that's the twins. So it's you and your neighbor you and your sibling. It's, it's you except in a different person. And then Libra is all about your partner. It's the partner in business, your marriage partner, your life partner. And then Aquarius is you and the world, you and humanity, you and your friends. And so one thing that can be a hang up for air sign Mercury's is just that they have this innate desire to share. And so they may never even come to journaling because they're just so busy like processing things with other people that they don't really sit down to journal. So one great way around this, so one great way around this is to actually address your journaling to somebody else. Dear future daughter, dear friend, dear, you know, and it's almost like you're gearing all this information you're about to spill out onto the page towards somebody. Another thing that you can do that will actually help is actually work on a body of work that others will see. So things like a memoir, you don't have to leave everything in it, but just kind of working on that as you're journaling can also help not make air mercury signs feel so isolated, like this thing has to be private, but they feel such an intense desire to share it. And it might also be helpful to almost do it in like a blog type setting where you're not spilling all your deepest, darkest secrets right out on the internet as soon as it happens, but you might have like a six month lag or something like that where, where you can go back, kind of process everything and get to a place of acceptance. And then when you do decide to post it, you can take out all the parts that you aren't comfortable with other people seeing. But just knowing that you are going to share it with somebody can be more of a motivating factor. Also, fiction. Turn it into fiction and then share it with people. I know that has personally helped me so much process things is just writing fiction about it. Put a different person's name on it, change a few details, and then really get into the story of it and then share that with somebody else. All right, water sign Mercury's. These are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if you know anything about water signs, they tend to be the most sensitive. And so kind of their hang up when it comes to journaling is it's all too much. And if you guys have ever heard of the concept of re-traumatization, it's when somebody goes through a trauma and then a social worker, a doctor, a therapist, somebody will ask them a lot of details about this trauma and it's like they're going through it again and they become re-traumatized. That on a very, very, very small scale can be what it's like for a person with a water mercury to journal. It's like they already had to go through it the first time and now they have to sit down and talk about it. It's almost like it doubles down, like it makes it twice as hard to actually get anything out and get through the situation because not only did you have to go through it a first time, now you have to talk about going through it and that's just too much, it's all too much. So different ways you can combat this is by journaling through an art. 
So instead of just writing down, and then this happened, and then this happened, and this is how I felt about it, and then this is what came from that, all that stuff, draw a picture about how you felt. It can be abstract art. It can just be a series of colors. Like on notebook paper, it's just all these different colors that you felt. You can also write poems. The, these are things that are non-specific. You're not really talking about how it was or what happened or what you wish happened or anything like that, but you are still processing. You're still getting all that emotion that tends to be really caught up out onto the paper. Also writing songs, writing music. It doesn't even have to be words. Like water sign Mercury's, they're the type of people that don't think in words. They think in pictures, emotions, feelings, all this stuff. And so if you sit them down and you make them force it into words, that can be really complicated and it can end up doing more harm than good sometimes. Also free writing. Water Mercuries have amazing intuition. And so if you just sit down and just don't filter yourself, don't worry about spelling, don't worry about grammar. You can be halfway through one sentence and then switch to song lyrics if you want to. Like none of it has to make sense, but just pouring through that intuition out on the page will really help you with the processing and it'll help you gain the benefits from journaling without like doing it the right way. So I hope this helps you. This is a video that I've been thinking about for a very long time and just working with clients and talking to people and asking people like seeing what their mercury sign is and then asking them about journaling. There have been a lot of things kind of compiling in my mind for this video. So um, I hope it's helpful to you. It was really fun to prepare for. So I hope you guys take care.